Hey guys, it's Mastermind2368 here. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up your RG35XX handheld with UOS. So I'm going to be going about it in the context of a single SD card. If you want to use two SD cards, it's fine, but that's not what I'm covering in this tutorial. So you'll have to do a few things differently, but you'll mostly get there. I'm first going to show you how you can flash the OS to the system itself. Then I'm going to talk about loading games on there, getting box art, and I'm going to also be discussing themes. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So to start off, go to the first link in the description. This is the MuOS website. From here, go to download here, release, go to the latest release, and choose the download for whatever device you have. So I have the plus, I'm going to choose this, if you have the SP, you choose this, just click on it. And while it's downloading, we're going to need a tool to flash our SD card. So go ahead over to the next link in the description if you have Windows. This is a tool I use to flash SD cards on Windows. I like it a lot. There's probably other alternatives for Linux and Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one. Standard. That'll be fine for our purposes. So I'm just going to wait for this to finish downloading. Now as you can see in my downloads, I have both Rufus and MiOS. So go ahead, launch up Rufus, let it make changes, and boom, there it is. So at this point, you want to plug in your SD card into your computer. I'm just going to go ahead and plug in mine and see something pop up. There it is. On Rufus, go ahead, choose device, and it might detect it automatically for you. If it doesn't detect automatically for you, then go ahead and select whatever new drive showed up. Make sure you don't choose the wrong one. Then it'll ask you for your boot selection. You'll want to choose disk or ISO image and select it. Go to it wherever you have it. So I have it in my downloads. I'm going to press open. From here, keep everything about the defaults probably. You probably don't want to do anything too crazy. And press start. So this is putting UOS onto the SD card. It might take a few minutes, but we'll just go ahead, wait, and pick off once it's done. And as you can see for me over here, it's all done. So once yours is also finished, go ahead, safely eject your SD card, and we can continue over on our handheld. So once you've ejected your SD card, go ahead, put it in at the top slot, and start to boot it up. Pull down the power button, and you'll see something like this. So you'll see some settings pop up over here. Go ahead, enter it all through. I'm gonna select all my settings, put it all in, the date, then save it. And at this point, it'll take a while to just do a bunch of setup things. So I'd recommend just leaving it to sit and come back once it's not doing things anymore. And after a bit of waiting around, it should boot up to this menu. So at this point, the operating system is set up on the SD card, but we don't have any games or anything on here. So let's go back to the computer and set all that up. So go ahead and shut your device down, and then eject the SD card, put it into your computer, and we'll continue over there. So once you're back on your computer, we're going to want to start to transfer the ROMs over. Now, I can't really legally show you how to get ROMs, but you can do some searching around and figure out how to get ROMs legally. And so I have some here. This is from the Tiny Best Set Go, but I've added a few of my own. So if there's a few games that you know you might want to play that might not be popular games, then look how to legally obtain them. But once you have them, just copy them over onto your MuOS's ROMs. You'll say MuOS ROMs, go into ROMs, just copy and paste. And depending on how many you have, it might take a while. I have 12,000 here, I guess. So it might, it might take a little bit. So just let that go. So my ROMs are finished transferring over. And if we put our SD card back in our handheld, we'd probably be able to play them just fine. But I'm going to show you how we can add box art to them. So it will look nice in our home screen. So go to the next link in the description. This will be for Artie. And download the latest release zip. Go download it and go to your downloads folder, extract it. We'll go ahead and extract it right here. 
Now open it up, go into the .re folder, and open the config file. So in here there's going to be a few settings that we're going to want to add. Don't worry, it's nothing crazy. First of all, you're going to want to go to the screen scraper. So I'll have that link in the description. So go ahead over to screen scraper, create an account over here, press register, and then put your credentials right over here where you see it says screen scraper, username and password. Put those over there. I'll add mine once I'm done recording for now. And after that, go back up to your ROMs folder. And you're gonna to wanna to cross reference screen scraper to your ROMs folder. So as you see over here, I have a folder called arcade. In the config file, I'm gonna to wanna to look to see if there's something that says arcade. There is, so it will recognize it. Go ahead, look through every system and see if there's a corresponding folder. So as you can see here, there's Atari 2600. Here it just says Atari. So you're gonna to wanna to change one of those names to match the other. I don't wanna mess with that config file too much, so I'm just gonna rename it over here to be Atari 2600. And go through every folder, rename it so that they're matching between the config file and your folders. One more thing I forgot to mention, if you plan to use this with a single SD card like I'm doing, change this directory at the top. Change from being SD card to MMC and that'll help it locate the ROMs otherwise it'll look for it on another SD card. So I'm done cross-referencing. I renamed every folder in here to match a name over here. Once you've done that go ahead back up to your folder where it's already an already scraper shell file. Just go ahead copy these or cut them. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them. Then on your SD card, go over to MeOS, Application, and paste them both right there. And as you can see, they're pasted over here. So at this point, now that we've done all that, we can start playing some games. But I want to get a few themes on my device first. So go to MeOS's themes page, and there's a bunch here. You just choose a few that you want to download. They're not super big. I think all of them is like a gigabyte or so. So just choose a few that you want. Go ahead, download them. Let's see. I like the circles theme, so I'll go ahead and click on it. This Animal Crossing theme is really cute too. So once you have all the themes you want, go ahead over to your downloads. And you can go ahead and move them over to your SD card. Go to Archive. And just paste them in here. So now that we've done all that, we can go ahead and eject our SD card. Continue from the handheld again. So once you're back on your handheld, you're going to want to set up your Wi-Fi. So go to Configuration, Wi-Fi Network, and type in your information. So put in your network name and two identifier and your password over there. And as you can see over here, I'm connected. So I'll go back. Now we want to download the box art. So go over to Applications and start RD Scraper. So go ahead and choose the system you want to download box art for. Like I'm going to choose Atari 2600 and I will press start and it will begin to download the art. So this will take a while, but just let it run. And then once it's done with one system, select the next system and download all your art. After you've scraped all your systems, you can press menu to exit it. And now I think we're going to want to work on setting up our theme. So go to your archive manager. And you'll see all these things here. So just let's click on the Animal Crossing one. Boom, set up. So just do that for every theme you have installed. If you've downloaded the big pack, I think you can just click that and it'll set them all up. Then once they're installed, go back, go to your configuration. Go to Theme Picker, and they'll all be here. So there's a few built-in ones, and there's obviously all the ones we downloaded. So I'm just going to press Circles. That's the one I want right now. And as you can see, I'm in the Circles theme. Now that we've set that all up, let's try the game. So depending on the theme you have, it might be called different, but it'll say something like Explore Content, Your Emulators, or Your Games. And you'll see all your games here in a list. So go ahead and choose whatever system you want to play. 
let's say you want to play NES game. Then you can scroll up and down for it. You can use the bumper buttons on the back to help you find it. It will go down a whole page at a time or up a whole page. And there's the game I want to play. And as you can see, it's working just right. Anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you're able to get MiOS installed on your handheld fine and get everything set up okay. If you have any more questions, let me know and I'll try to answer you in the comments if I know the answer to them. But I hope that you have a really good day and I hope you have a lot of fun playing on your handheld. Goodbye!